Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginners. Siawash is here and today I want to talk about the Ether channel or link aggregation in the networking world. If you remember, in the last videos we learned about the spanning tree protocols and we realized that for redundancy purpose we need to add another link between our switches in our networks. But one of the problem with the spanning tree beside the configuration is that as you can see in this topology one of the links is always in idle mode because according to the STP terminology one of the, these switches is became the root bridge and the other switch only defined one root port and the other ports connection between them will be goes to the standby if the root port is goes down then the backup port will be come up so as you can see here switch zero is looks like as a root bridge because both ports are enabled which means in a designation mode and uh, this switch is switch one one of these interface which is looks like fa0 slash 2 is uh, in a block mode let's check out this one and see enable and okay here enable the switch and the show spanning tree and as we can see here is clearly this is the root bridge uh, root port fa0 slash 1 and the fa0 slash 2 is an alternate and fa0 10 is connected to that pc on here and let's check this switch as well go to the cli enable the switch show span and let's zoom it and see how is it yeah as you can see this bridge is root well what a straight line and all the other interfaces are in designation mode okay so you just imagine how the technology will be good if we can use all interfaces between these switches in other words we can use the ether channel technology which is the cisco term for the technology that enables the bounding of up to eight physical ethernet links into the single logical link in other words you can see we can bundle these two logical or even we can add more port let's try up to eight interface we can bundle together and make a very big pipe and load balancing the traffic between two segments so ether channel is actually load balancing technology between the switches uh, and it works based on the different criteria includes the uh, source or destination mac address some network engineering things that is a uh, if the first packet is goes from the first physical link the second one goes to the second one and so far like that but it's not like that it's uh, actually the these two switches make a decision based on the mac address of the destination or as i mentioned the source depends on how we configure the ether channel in this tutorial actually we want to configure the layer 2 ether channel between these two switches which packet tracer allow us if you back to this topology again you can see this switch is still root bridge and this tree line is in idle mode and only this fa0 slash 1 will work and transport the packets between these two nodes so let's jump into the switch 0 for configuration the ether channel uh, you if you are the system admin you may familiar in a unix admin sometimes refer to this same technology as a trunk or the modern unix system to call it bond and the windows admin is known these technologies as a teaming and you must remember when you design the ether channel it's very important uh, each link participating in the ether channel must have the exact same configuration for example if the uh, speed and the duplex of the ports must be exact the same you may hard code then um, all of them must be in the same VLAN and if these interfaces are trunk they must all configured with the same trunk parameters so let's get started 
Okay, I'm going to the switch zero and go to the global configuration, config T, use the interface range command, FA0 slash one to four, we want to make a two channel group. So we have two flavor or two protocol for the ether channel actually. One of them is as usual is belong to the Cisco is a port aggregation protocol or PACP. Uh, and the other one is a open standard industry standard or triple we one LACP or link aggregation control protocol. When you use the command to create uh, your ether channel, you can use the channel and let's use the question mark. We have two different commands here, channel group and the channel protocol. Let's first set up the protocol and question mark. We have LACP and PACP. So because we are in the Cisco packet trace award, let's try with the PACP Cisco one and just press enter. That's it. Now we set the protocol. It's time to make our channel group channel group then question mark I want to show you you can make up to 48 different groups in this switch let's try the channel group one and question mark as a mode and as you can see there are several modes for your ether channel setting some of them belong to LACP and some of them is belong to PACP active equivalent to the desirable in the PACP is actually enabled the ether channel uh, in unconditionally status and the passive and auto is almost the same they waiting for the other side to detect the ether channel group and start to negotiation so because we choose a pack b it's a safe uh, use a desirable just remember in a real working environment if you use the cisco with non-cisco switches you must go for to LACP open a standard one okay now the status of our port is changed as you can see in here is also change the port are now is different okay and then let's jump to the other switch switch number one I want to show you one more thing show IP interface brief as you can see we have a four interface up port in fast Ethernet 0 slash 10 is also connected to our client and let's begin conf t interface range fa0 slash 1 to 4 and channel protocol back p channel group 1 mode desirable okay and let's I jump up and zoom for you to see exact what command we use we set the protocol for ether channel technology and then use our channel group mode which is exactly the same number as uh, the other side and the mode is uh, desirable and okay let's go back show IP interface brief and now you can see we have a, an additional interface which is a logical interface in our ether channel technology is up and up let's go back and check the packet tracer environment okay switch zero is ready but the interface on switch one is still not coming up as you can see we have a logical interface between them which is the help you to have a more bandwidth on the connection and also fully utilize your links between two switches no wasting no idle interface and all of them are working uh, we will check it with the uh, ping just right now i set up to this pc 192.168.0.10 and 11 let's go to the pc1 go to the command prompt ip config make sure we got the proper ip and let's ping the other side 011 and yes as you can see uh both side is working i mentioned again remember the configuration of the physical interface which participate in the ether channel must be exact the same uh, also interfaces in a bundle are redundant if one of them is goes down the other is still communicate and you no need to worry about the redundancy actually the um, 
remember the interface uh, one of the interface shouldn't be any span for analyzer port as you know we can set the one of these interfaces as a span port and all and di redirect and get the mirror of the traffic other port on that interface if you have a span port it unable to participate in a group and bundle as mentioned again interface in a bundle must be in the same vlan if they are trunk same configuration for a trunk any changes to port channel affects all bundle ports and any changes to individual ports affect only that ports so this is a layer 2 ether channel configuration as you can see is a very easy is a very helpful in a production network can help you remember if you uh, apply this your network might be go down for a while so please uh, be careful about the, the performing this kind of the configuration there are also another ether channel which is a layer 3 uh, a third channel configuration actually you can give the IP address to the logical link and provide the communication between them um, Cisco packet tracer as I know is unable to provide the, the no switch port on these switches even the layer 3 let me try again global configuration IP routing okay is enabled and do show IP interface brief to make sure uh, the port channel is up and up I go to the port channel 1 okay let's see what we got as you can see I don't have the IP command to set the IP address because actually this logical interface the port uh, channel 1 is in a switching and layer 2 working uh before we testing that let me see can i perform the new switch port okay now the cisco packet tracer doesn't allow me let's test our ether channel with some additional commands as you can see here i show you some of those commands the key command is show ether channel and question mark yeah you can see what option we got okay okay port channel and the summary uh, just press enter and see we have the okay this is a good we have a group one which is created group state is a layer two and the four ports are inside our bundle maximum you can use eight port and the protocol which use a pack p let's go back and use the summary summary give you more information and okay here we are again is a l2 for port is participating in our ether channel and this is our flags for this information this is a group one the port channel po1 it's u u is in use and s which means this works in a layer two protocol and which ports are into our bundle fa0 slash one to fa0 slash four after we see the layer two ether channel uh, let me talk about the layer 3 ether channel as well as I mentioned I couldn't show you the layer 3 ether channel on the Cisco packet tracer but because it's very easy I show you on the real switch from my home lab there is a one switch 0 1 uh, the main difference actually between the layer 2 and layer 3 is on the logical interface you give the IP address the rest of the configuration is almost exact the same go to configuration mode interface range FA0 slash 1 to 4 and I want to create the channel protocol like what we did there in the packet tracer just pack P press enter and channel group 1 mode desirable and now we have a one logical port channel number one let me exit and go to the port channel one okay port channel one and now I want to give the IP address to this port channel but because this is actually the layer 2 ether channel I couldn't give any IP address so I want to use the no switch port which means I bring this logical interface from the switch port mode but when I press the enter 
the command is rejected because the, actually as I mentioned the physical interfaces configuration must be exact the same so I go back to interface range FA0 slash 1 to the 4 and perform the no switch port no switch port and back to the interface port 1 and I want to add the IP address and as you can see I only have a limited command like a DHCP ARP admission which is not allow me to assign the IP address to my logical port so now is the time to perform the switch no switch port that's the reason after that we can use the IP and as you can see the number of command is increased so show IP address now I can give the IP address like 10.0.0.1 and 255000 and now if we go to the show IP interface brief you can see the port channel is actually got the IP address here you can see clearly that we have the IP address assigned to the port channel this is a major difference between the layer 3 ether channel and layer 2 ether channel and now if I show at the channel summary let's try and see is the other channel is not created because I only configure the one switch in this topology I do didn't uh, configure on the other side so it will show you then the layer 3 okay I hope this video is helpful for you and learn a new thing uh, please subscribe on our YouTube channel and send your comments and feedback see you soon Bye for now.